So, uh, as some of you know, yesterday, Kathy and I went to Ikea and proceeded to basically buy furnishings for the entire apartment. And they're about to come today and deliver that, uh, that those furnishings. So I thought I'd give you a walkthrough of what the apartment looks like now uh, as bought and give you a, a proper uh, look and feel for uh, where I'm living. So behind me you can see part of the uh, Marriott Taipei and, and some of the other uptown uh, uh, area uh, on Lee Kwan Drive. And this, this is where I'm living. So I'm in the seventh floor apartment. You actually can't see it from here because it's on the other side of that clover-shaped uh, building. But this is where we're at. It's a very nice and quiet area in uh, Uptown Taipei. I'm about a block away from the Miramar, which is a pretty nice size uh, upscale shopping uh, shopping mall with uh, its own IMAX theater. I'm two blocks away from the Jianan Road um, subway station. First thing first. You have to remove your shoes here. That's just a thing. To not remove your shoes in your uh, Taipei apartment is very unusual here. This is the living room area. I've got a bar over here that I'm still uh, cleaning up and uh, getting settled in, but this is where most of the stuff for my office and uh, workspace are right now until I get my actual office set up in the back and uh, my uh, business office uh, at the at the Dell site uh, set up as well, which I start that tomorrow. Over here you have the sliding doors into the kitchen. And I'm still in the process of, you know, furnishing and and populating the kitchen. Uh, no ovens here. They're very um, unusual in uh, in a Taipei home. So uh, I have to get a, uh, a cabinet top uh, oven. And other than that, even though you don't have clothes dryers here, you have dish dryers. No dish washing machine but a dish drying machine, which is basically just a hooded vent. Um, but it actually works pretty well. Oh, here's the first balcony. This is the inner balcony. It's covered and uh, sealed so you can dry your clothes um, uh, relatively uh, safely without uh, risk of any inclement weather affecting it. I've got two washing machines. I'm not sure why. Um, these are uh, Asian washing machines, so they don't have the agitator in the center like, like you would see in, a, in an American uh, washing machine. So what you have to do is get these, um, these uh, laundry nets for your clothes. If you don't, and you just wash them inside the, 
the um, uh, machine as is, they just get stretched out around the around the edge and into one long uh, intertwined string. So what you do is you get these laundry laundry nets. You uh, lay out your clothes inside the net um, as evenly as possible so that uh, as much of the surface is, is exposed, and that allows it to to wash properly um, in in these machines. And then you dry them uh, the old-fashioned way uh, by hanging them. And there's two ways to do that. Like I said, this is the first balcony. This is the inner balcony where you can dry safely. It can take a little bit longer since you don't have as much airflow. Then you also have the more traditional setup, which is on your actual balcony. With a view of the Taipei 101. What you have out here is this pulley system that allows you to lower um, your hanger setup. And so this is where you would hang out uh, the majority of your clothes outside and, and they would hang faster. So that's the living room and the kitchen. Got a bathroom here. First thing I noticed uh, when I started to uh, study this place, there's no toilet paper. Instead, you get a water gun. And that's all we're going to say about that because I really don't have much knowledge yet um, to say it's been an awkward few days to start, it is putting it politely. But yeah. Anyway, this is the uh, bedroom. Now, when I first moved in, there wasn't even a, a mattress in here. Uh, let alone blankets or pillows, so I had to go and get those out, go go and get those right away. Uh, unfortunately, right away for me was still like three or four days in, so I was sleeping on this wooden plank um, for a bed, using my clothes and towels uh, for pillows and blankets. It was very unpleasant. This is the study slash office area um, or spare bedroom. The interesting thing about this is that, I mean, these bedrooms are side by side. You have to go through this bedroom to get to the other. It, it looks like an open space, but what it actually is, is a sliding door and a uh, folding wall. So that's how the two spaces are normally separate. This is where my office is going to go. This is where uh, I believe we bought a desk. I'm not entirely sure all the things that we bought in the last couple of days. So once they're here and I have them set up, then that will uh, answer questions for all of us, basically. Uh, but here's the master bathroom uh, with the shower. It's a very nice shower, although it's got a uh, filter system that is not actually hooked up to anything. And according to the landlord, the previous uh, tenant just decided he didn't want to have to change out that many filters uh, uh, so often. So he just disconnected it entirely to save him one extra filter he'd have to replace and maintain. And then this toilet is even more fancy and, and high tech than the other toilet doesn't use toilet paper and I, uh, anyway. All right, so that's the walkthrough of the apartment as is uh, until I can get it uh, furnished and populated. And like I said, that's coming later today. So I wanted to get this in now so you can see what, uh, what I'm dealing with. Uh, sort of a bush before shot. Um, 
so I can uh, show you the comparison after. Thanks for watching. I'll, uh, I'll post again soon once the once the new furnishings are set up.